it's time for the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Week. And this week, we are out in Fredericksburg, where we found an eclectic collection of cottages and a restaurant known for their chicken fried ribeye. We're at the Cabernet Grill. Fredericksburg is synonymous with Texas wine. And just southwest of town, you'll find a restaurant that relishes in recommending reds from all over the Lone Star State. We have the nation's largest all-Texas wine list. In fact, that's all we do is Texas wines. Ross Burtwell owns the Cabernet Grill, a hearty hill country restaurant that happens to have a few fine places to stay just a few steps from the door. It's bed and breakfast style lodging. We have 1800s log cabins, which actually came out of Kentucky and Tennessee. They were transported down here and built back together log by log. And then just here in the past two years, we decided to expand the property. We've added a bunch of uh, rock style cottages. If you're really into Texas wine, this is a great feature for you. Oh. That is a good Texas wine. Have you ever had a bad Texas wine? We're pulling them from every corner of the state. Um, we have over 150 different wines uh, available right now. We've been honored twice by Wine Enthusiast Magazine as being one of their top wine restaurants for the United States. Elizabeth Rodriguez is the wine sommelier, and she's put together this incredible collection of nothing but Texas wines. Why was it important for you to carry so many Texas wines here? I strongly believe in supporting local. And you know what? Texas wine industry for the longest time just did not have a lot of people who were championing the cause. And the wines have really come along here in the past 15 years or so. I mean, they are producing some outstanding wines that are winning awards all over the country. But you need to have some good grub to go with good wine. And trust me, you won't be disappointed. You're a madman. Bert has a crazy concoction on his menu that I had to check off the list. Chicken fried ribeye? <laughs> like, right. Man, that's taking things to a new level. The more time I can spend in that kitchen getting creative, the happier guy I am. Hey, honey, I know this place. And you can walk 50 yards and get whatever Texas one you want. <laughs> right. Did I mention the chicken fried ribeye? <laughs> it doesn't stop there. The ribeye is topped with a cream sauce that has lobster, bacon and green chilies in it. I never want to have a chicken fried steak on the menu, but our customers kept asking for it, asking for it, asking for it. So I decided, well, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do the upgraded version of it. <laughs> you take some lobster and add it to the top of a chicken fried ribeye is a pretty good idea. Yeah. Ross takes a certified Angus beef ribeye and breads it up with a combination of flour and saltine crackers. That's topped off with some house-made Cajun seasoning. On to the sauce. I've got some fresh uh, Maine lobster tails right here. That we went ahead and we uh, pulled these out of the shell and then we actually poached them in butter. We're gonna go ahead and slice that up a little bit. Also got some roasted hatch chilies here. These are the hot variety, as well as a little bit of applewood bacon that we've crisped up a little bit. And we're gonna add this into our cream sauce in order to make our classic gravy. That ain't my grandpa's gravy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Once the gravy's good to go, Ross heads to the fryer. How long does it normally take to fry a ribeye? We're gonna cook it till it's nice and golden brown. Probably about three, four minutes is all it's gonna take. Was it hard to put a ribeye in the fryer? You know, <laughs> I'm a mid-rare guy myself, and, and dropping a ribeye in a fryer, yeah, yeah, there's a bit of a challenge to that, but you know, when you put it all together, you're gonna love it. And come together, it does. So we don't wanna be shy about this. Go ahead and ladle this on. I love how it just makes a nice little bowl for us. Yes, that indeed, indeed. Kick it up just a little bit, and add a little greenature to it. Greenature? Is that an official <laughs> word? <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Now it's time to pair this peculiar dish with a fine wine. So here we have it, the lobster top chicken fried ribeye with green chili gravy. Holy moly. Of course, it wouldn't be complete without a nice tempranillo, so we got a little bit of that here to enjoy with our chicken fried steak because we are fine dining this week on the Texas Bucket List. Well, here's the finding fancy flavors in our fine steak. My list of fine chicken fried steaks in the Lone Star State just got a new addition. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. The ribeye was like super tender. You could cut it with a fork. It was full of flavor. You can't even classify it as chicken fried steak. You have to say ribeye. You can't just say chicken fried steak. You have to say chicken fried ribeye. So we got two entrees, and then we figured out later that the, um, the ribeye, the fried ribeye is the thing to do, so we ordered a third one. So we're pretty stuffed. <laughs> it was fantastic. That's ridiculous. That's definitely ridiculous. Even down to the crunchiness that the saltines provide. Every little piece of this amazing dish 
has been thought out. The lobster just that makes it more rich. Well, if you're looking for a rare find when it comes to chicken fried steaks, come to Fredericksburg to get your lips around a chicken fried ribeye topped with lobster and green chilies right here at the Cabernet Grill. Well worth a stop. Do I have to say it? on the Texas bucket list. Very savory. The lobster made it super, super sweet and tasty. It was perfect. Very good. Well, I'm going to have to climb up in Channel Rock at least three times after that dish. <laughs> Here we go. I might be there with you. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's all gone. You notice we didn't have a to-go box. <laughs> it's a blessing. You know, I love living in the hill country. I love living in Fredericksburg and being, you know, somewhere that has so much focus on good quality wines and such. It's great.